Okay, I'm going to do some uh, tailpipe modifications now. And this is how it looks before. Um, as you can see, uh, the exhausts enter at an angle and uh, they uh, basically run right into this. There's like a, um, I don't know, like a resonator or something. Or basically a poor job when manufacturing this. So um, we're gonna see if this makes some if this frees up some of the um, of the back pressure slightly just a little bit as this it truly comes in at a bad angle and immediately meets a um, quite big obstruction or uh, stop okay here we have it um, so this is how it looks See if the camera can focus. Now we look inside. No obstructions anymore. Now the exhaust can pretty much free flow. What a horrible design. Had to uh, cut it off and bend this piece out. So still got some prep work to do on this tailpipe <laughs> well well that's life gonna be interesting to see how much better actually things get by this Just for some clarifications, um, this is where I measure the back pressure in a downpipe. So directly after the turbine, turbine. Uh, yeah, and then I run this vacuum hose all the way to this this thing. It's the map sensor for the boost gauge. And um, what I immediately noticed when I dropped the resonator in the back and took it out is that the lambda got slightly richer and um, the car was immediately feeling much more responsive even though it only removed 0 0.1 bars of back pressure <coughs> um, and uh, as well as that I also noticed in the logs that it increased the um, it increased the air mass in the lower portion of the region or of the power band uh, with 50 milligrams per combustion and uh, then the um, mid-range and uh, upper range it 
increased 25 milligrams per combustion. So I say that's a success. <clears throat> and it's take, it takes longer for the system now to build pressure as well. And it doesn't feel like the car is running into a wall. It actually feels quite responsive all the way to the rev limiter. So yeah, putting that into perspective with the back pressure. Imagine if I dropped all of this back pressure completely and uh, that would make a significant increase everywhere as it clearly shows that it responded that well to that little thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> and only one only 0 0.1 bars of back pressure mm. so here we have two logs and this one is before and this one is after and here's the air mass curve and after and here's the RMS curve before and you can clearly see that this peaks high and then slowly tapers off and uh, this one pretty much fluctuates in the same area for quite some while before tapering off and um, let's see if I can pinpoint in not that and uh, this is at uh, at 3800 rpm pretty much and we get uh, 1490 milligrams per combustion of air mass and, and this is before the I removed this um, this this uh, resonator and then we have uh, over here uh, let's see if you can see that yeah, pretty much 3,800 3, RPM as well and uh, here we have 1,540 milligrams per combustion of air mass so that's quite some difference and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will continue to do some more of this uh, exhaust system modifications and back pressure testing uh, in order to achieve perfection so stay tuned see ya